I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Two of Cups and it's with a Nine. Well, the Two of Cups, I'm sorry, it's with an Emperor. It's the card at the above, above the word pass and below the word pass. Now, the Two of Cups, it often refers to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it actually says that you have a great deal to be thankful for and things should be going really well. And you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now it's with the Emperor. The Emperor actually shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed. And that's what you need to think about when you get this card in a reading. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your focus, maintain your concentration. Yeah, the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness. Enjoy the confidence and the self-control that this focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. And I know some of you are saying, so what does that mean? Well, it means that the emperor is the type that... They don't want to come across as being vulnerable. They, this person could be a boss, a leader, very arrogant type. Um, they don't open their heart. They, have, they, don't, they do not or they just have a hard time opening their heart or showing emotions. <clears throat> So, the recent past energy, Two of Cups, clarified by the Emperor. So, Cancer, the message that I'm getting is that, yeah, you were with someone that you felt, it felt, the connection felt right. Because the Two of Cups can be about harmony, it can be about a union, a deep connection, it can be about feeling like you're with the ideal partner. A very romantic love. That could lead it could lead to marriage or proposal. So the connection felt great. But then I'm I'm getting because the Emperor is here, is that your person they all of a sudden went cold on you. It's like they did a three sixty. Yeah, so it was going really well. You felt like you had a friend. You felt like, like I said, there was a deep connection. Very romantic love. You felt like you were with the one you were supposed to be. And then, all of a sudden, the person just went cold. Well, let's move on over. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Nine of Pentacles and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now the Nine of Pentacles is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought ever possible. Enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth, share your happiness with others. Now it's with the Eight of Swords. Now with this card, you could be holding yourself back because you're afraid or you fear moving into the future or because you're wary of getting hurt by a situation. And for some of you, it's for no reason at all. So you have to think through what it is you're afraid of. 
Because the truth of the situation is they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, coming up, Cancer, Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> so, like I said, your person, they just went cold on you. Things probably happen, maybe for some of you, but the Emperor can shut off. They can be hot and then they can be cold. But hot, when they're hot, it's still cold. So I don't know. I don't know if something happened. But for a lot of you, your person was just like this. Maybe they were, they were hiding it. Yeah. They could have been hiding it. The emperor is just a very cold energy. And anyway, you found out that your person is cold. Or they just shut themselves off from you. But coming up, the Nine of Pentacles, you might start to realize um, that you really, really want a good relationship. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about, like I said, it's about um, just things going good, better than you thought possible. And this is this is what you want because we we all kind of we all have a new year, a new year coming up. So who doesn't want things to be going better than they were in 2020. So, yeah, somebody's holding themselves back, though. For some of you, it's you. You're not going forward with this person anymore. Because the Eight of Swords, the card below the word present, this man's just standing there. He's not going forward, even though there's a hot fire behind him. He's, he's standing there. He's not moving. There's an opening right in front of him where he could easily put his, he could, he could easily put one foot in front of the other and run, but he's not. So, yeah, you're just not going forward with this person. You realize that you deserve, if not ten of pentacles, everyone wants a ten of pentacles in a reading. That's the end all be all. That's everything. Yeah, love life is good. Your friends and family, they're all great and doing well. Your pets, they're, they're, they're at their healthiest. Your money is good when you get the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> but you get the Nine of Pentacles and you realize that this is the time that you, if you can't have a Ten of Pentacles, you, you need the Nine in your life. Not somebody that's just going to go cold on you. Maybe they flip-flopped on you. Because it was good for a while with the Two of Cups. Somebody flip-flopped. Just went cold. So you're holding yourself back. That's what it's showing with this Eight of Swords. You realize that it's time to live your best life. 2021 is here. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. Okay, so we got the moon, and it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the moon card, you could start to feel psychic, maybe even intuitive, more than usual. It's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting. But it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So, if you start to feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may, unfortunately, take longer than you would like for it to, so you're going to have to try to stay patient. The Moon card is with Page of Cups, which shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, 
the one thing I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. The first is imperative and the second can actually be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. So your challenge, Cancer, the moon clarified by Page of Cups. So yeah, like I said, you're holding yourself back. You're afraid to move forward with Mr. or Mrs. Flippity Flop. You could also start to feel like there, there is deception if you're still with this person. You could start to feel like things are hidden from you or you could start to feel like your person was wearing a mask all this time. Yeah. So, your intuition is starting to kick in. And just, you're starting to see things that you never saw before. Because for most of you, you're not at that infatuation stage anymore. And you see how your person has changed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the moon card is pretty much saying. Now it's, it's with the page of cups, so... Yeah, you could start to, I'm getting a couple of storylines, you could start to feel like it's time to have fun because you realize it's time, also time to live your best life and bring in abundance personally and professionally. But you realize that um, you've probably been too focused on this and it's time to have some fun. <clears throat> So some of you will be calling up your friends, maybe family, and getting together or trying to do something that we all can do or that you can do with a mask on. <laughs> yeah, gotta wear a mask these days. <laughs> and then for some of you, you could be um, realizing because your intuition is going to start to kick in and you'll start to see things more clearly some of you are going to realize that your person didn't really take the connection serious because if you look at the page of cups they're hanging loose they're halfway naked they're at the park and um they're turning up the bottle and they're just having fun having a good time so some of you are going to realize that your person they really didn't take the connection serious yeah, and you feel like they, they were wearing a mask all this time. You could start to feel that way. So those are the two storylines I'm getting for the challenge, but let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. <coughs> okay, we got the Strength card. It is with the Six of Pentacles. Now the Strength card, with this one it's important to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you got 19 kids. But don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. And I say this because the outward things, they should be going all right. But what's most important is trying to keep your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with what you're trying to do. Or what you're doing more yourself. Give me one second. Yeah, so, yeah, strength card is great. It's actually about um, self-acceptance. Yeah, no, it's with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is often a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. It's one of the more positive Pentacles, because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, 
That can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. It also speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole complete cycle of positivity. Six of Pentacles. With this one, it can be all, it can also be about generosity. It can mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or or the giver of something of value. So share what you have. Because there's always someone who needs it. So your outcome, Cancer, strength, strength clarified by Six of Pentacles. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, for some of you, you, you're realizing that this person is not taking the connection as serious as you need them to. And you feel like they've been, you might start to feel like they've been wearing a mask all this time. Yeah, because they just went cold on you. The emperor is really cold. It's a cold energy. I hate to say this, but the emperor is the type that would rather have you die wanting to know what's in their heart. A very cold energy. You realize coming up, it's time to live your best life. So it looks like you could be taking to you and being good to yourself. Like I said, the Six of Pentacles, it's about generosity, but it's with the Strength card, so. The Strength card can be about self-love, unconditional love, and self-respect. So, you're going to start doing a lot of good things for you. Yeah, building yourself up. Trying to be the best that you can be. So, you're going to start taking better care of yourself. You realize that you need to give more to you. Because a lot of you have been way too focused on this other person. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope it resonates. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended on this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation and what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's gonna pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. So, Cancer, I can never say enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you had or you had a wonderful holiday. I am wishing all of you Happy New Year's. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.